morning everyone uh, i welcome you for our uh, re- revision for quarterly exam 2020 science uh, today i am going to discuss or revise uh, in unit 7 weather climate and adaptations of weather to climate so Uh, I'm going to start with the long answer type questions. In that, uh, our first question, as per the book, I mean book back exercise is, how are elephants adapted to tropical climate? So basically, elephants are well known example of animals present in tropical rainforest, which you have learned before in our class. Tropical rainforest, you know, what kind of climate it contains. Uh, so here, the, we are going to learn only about elephants. So we did not we not talk or discuss about tropical climate. Okay. So here the elephants have a big trunk, which is modified upper lip and nose. It helps in picking up food. The trunk helps in the picking up of food. So trunk is none other than the modified upper lip. So we have upper and lower lip. The upper lip and the nose of the elephant is modified into trunk. Secondly, the, uh, they have a good sense of smell. The trunk helps in good sense of smell. And then elephants have tusks which are none other than modified teeth. So you have learned already that there are different uh, um, types of teeth. And the tusks are none other than modified teeth. Uh, which helps to tear the bark of trees uh, for uh, consuming or uh, sometimes when it gets angry it uses the tusks to fight or to hit uh, the objects elephants have large ears which helps them to hear even the soft sounds you might have seen that ears always uh, um, shaking so this is mainly to radiate out the heat from the body so we have discussed this uh, character before in the class again i repeat so um each animal have their own uh, uh, transfer of heat or elimination of heat from their body some animals sweat for example human beings some animals they pant uh, for example dogs and uh, some animals they go and lie in the water like hippopotamus uh, certain bison etc and elephants they have a special characteristics to radiate or to eliminate the heat that is uh, the ears contains numerous blood vessels and uh, those blood vessels help in the uh, radiation or elimination of the heat so when it shakes the ears uh, the heat is uh, radiated out from the blood or from the ears or i would say better from th- via the blood uh, that is found in the yes so let's uh, have a fast uh, quick recap of what we learned in this question the question is how are elephants adapted to tropical climate first point they are elephants are the well known example of animals present in tropical rainforest they have a big trunk which is modi- which is a modified upper lip and nose and which helps in picking up of food elephants have a good sense of smell the tusks of elephants are modified teeth 
then elephants have large ears that help them to hear even the soft sounds and these ears also help to radiate out the heat from the body very easy to memorize and very easy to uh, recall okay so um, concentrate these are all simple questions so now uh, let us uh, go to the second question what is weather how is it how is it related to climate what is weather how is it related to climate so basically weather describes the conditions such as rain wind temperature and humidity that occur during a short period of time at a particular place so which we have learned in the beginning of this lesson uh, sir took this topic so weather is none other than uh, based on rain wind temperature and humidity we call that as uh, weather and it is for a short time and uh, also for a only in a particular place uh, the weather of a place changes uh, day after day or week after week so actually it is a complex phenomenon which actually can va vary over short periods that is it can change within minutes also not even day after day or week after week it may happen even in within minutes whereas climate describes a region's weather conditions over a long period of time so that is the main difference between a weather and a climate weather is for a short period of time very short period of time that is within minutes it changes but climate it is not so it happens for a few weeks or few months and every region has its own climate so you come across climate in uh, different places a different climate for example north side one climate south side one climate if you go south side uh, tamil nadu one climate uh, um kerala one climate uh, jammu and kashmir a climate so state wise or uh, region wise or district wise you come across uh, not region wise at least district wise especially state wise you come across climate okay the summation of weather data can be termed as climate so if you uh, summation summation means a uh, uh, collection of data okay of uh, weather put together is called as climate okay so this is uh, the answer for what is weather how is it related to climate so very easy answer um, just read and uh, answer the question if they ask in exam then our uh, third question is uh, mention the adaptation of polar bear that help it to survive in extreme cold climates so we all know that the polar bears live in very cold region that itself is a point polar bears everyone would have would, would have been known at least uh, when you go through this lesson our uh, that is our uh, online class you would have uh, well known that po about polar bears so they live in very cold region they have two thick layers of fur okay so very thick layer of fur and also uh, two layers of fat okay under the skin inside the skin uh this fur and fat acts as an insulator i hope you know what is an insulator insulator is something that does not uh, allow heat to pass through or uh, in other words as per the animal it will not uh, it will maintain the body temperature so that's why we call fur and uh, uh, that uh, uh, fat layer as insulator because they don't allow the body heat to uh, eliminated to be eliminated from the body because um when the body only when the body heat or body temperature is maintained which means the animal is living when it loses body heat which means it is dying or dead for example if you touch a dead animal you will you can observe that uh, the temperature will be very low okay so the fur and fat helps as an insulate acts as an insulator and helps to maintain the body temperature of polar bears then third point uh, the polar bears have white colored uh, fur uh, so that they blend themselves with their surroundings so surrounding will be white because of the snow and the fur of the animal will also be white in color and uh, thereby the animal i mean this polar bear can uh, in two ways it helps the polar bears one to escape from the predators that is predators which hunt polar bears okay Uh, it helps to uh, escape uh, secondly it can slowly move towards the prey prey means food so polar bears the food of polar bear and uh, is called as prey 
general word it's a word, general word used instead of food okay and easy to catch the prey the next polar bears are also good swimmers they have wide and large paws that help in swimming um as well as to walk on snow so this you might have come across even in camel camels have a wide paws which helps them to walk in sand like that uh, here polar bears they are good swimmers and that is because of their wide uh, large paws similarly this paws uh, help uh, the animal to walk on snow and last but not least polar bears have a strong sense of smell that helps them to locate and catch their prey again i say prey means food uh, next is uh, short answer type questions in that first we have four questions the first question is name the elements that determine the weather of a place name the elements that determine the weather of a place so the elements that uh, determine the weather of a place include one temperature two humidity third wind and four rainfall very simple temperature humidity that is the um, amount of moisture present in air is called as humidity okay temperature humidity wind and rainfall the second question is what do you understand by the term climate what do you understand by the term climate so already we have discussed many number of times uh, climate describes a region's weather conditions over a long period of time so two two points one uh, weather condition and second long period okay so this these two uh, Uh, phrase is very important okay so the answer is simple climate describes a region's weather conditions over a long period of time the third question is the third short answer type question is write two adaptations that are present in desert animals write two adaptations that are present in desert animals so it's not uh, camel you have to imagine most of the desert animals that are found in deserts uh, which includes uh, certain uh, rodents like mice um and other animals it should it should be in your mind okay especially if you don't know other animals uh, imagine camel and rodents so automatically you can write the two points right the answer is one most animals that live in desert are nocturnal so you know what is meant by nocturnal uh, they are active during night time okay so if uh, animals are active during day time they are called as diurnal if they are active during night time they are called as nocturnal so here most animals that live in desert are nocturnal in nature and the second adaptation is uh, these animals that live in desert Uh, they excrete very concentrated urine that is water will be very less so that is called as concentrated urine and this is to reduce the loss of water so you know very well uh, in desert uh, it's very difficult to find water or i would say no water at all so to avoid the loss of water they ex- always excrete very concentrated urine then the fourth question is indicate the type of climate of the following areas so in book they have given two areas one is rajasthan and second one is eastern india so first let us discuss rajasthan so in rajasthan so actually it is a desert so the type of climate is hot and dry so very hot temperature and no rainfall so hence it is said as dry hot and dry climate the temperature is very high during summer and however during winter the temperature goes down so this is a very strange uh, uh, climate generally in deserts you come across this thing that is uh, day time will be very hot uh, whereas in night time it will be very cold but it is not discussed in your answer so we'll stick on to the answer 
uh, first one is hot and dry climate and second one is temperature is very high during summer and however during winter the temperature goes down or you can write temperature is very low uh, third point uh, rainfall is very poor or no rainfall at all so very poor or no rainfall at all uh, in eastern india in uh, where uh, they receive rain for most of the year example assam so where they receive more um, rainfall most of the year and therefore the climate here is always wet okay and uh, finally we have a very short answer type questions in that we have six questions all easy answers uh, actually answers are just one word or two words but we, you out you ought to write in sentence never to write a single word if you write a single word uh, you will you will not receive full marks because all this will be asked in two mark questions so two mark questions compulsory you have to write in sentence and there are many who lost marks in midterm exam for writing a two mark question in a word or so so try to frame a sentence actually answer is one word make that one word answer into a frame it frame that into a sentence okay uh, first question is uh, name the person who measures and forecast weather uh, the person who measures and forecast weather is meteorologist then second question name the device used to measure the speed of wind so there are many uh, devices to measure uh, various uh, factors here they are asking speed of wind so answer is anemometer anemometer is a device that is used to measure the speed of wind anemo means wind meter means a device that is used to measure okay so hence it is called as anemometer then third uh, name the region of india whose climate is wet just now we learned in uh, short answer the region uh, which is wet in india is northeastern region i said assam example assam okay um, then fourth question name the part of the camel which is a reservoir of fat so by this time you all should be knowing that uh, the reservoir of fat is hump okay so hump is not a reservoir of water hump is a reservoir a reservoir of fat so then which is the reservoir of water in camels it is none other than the blood so water is stored in the blood whereas fat is stored in the hump of camels then fifth question name two animals living in tropical regions so even though they are asking two animals answer is easy so you can write four examples uh, which includes monkeys elephants snakes and lions these are the four different animals living in the tropical regions then last final question name a migratory bird so the migratory bird that is given in the book is siberian crane even though you have many migratory birds um, we mostly stick on to the book so answer is siberian crane crane okay so uh, it's it's uh, native is siberia that is uh, russia and so it is called a siberian crane okay so the migratory bird an example of a migratory bird is siberian crane so well we are at the end of uh, today's uh, session so one uh, one thing uh, i just want to say that is um so when you write uh, your quarterly exam you are supposed to write in unruled paper especially maths and science you are supposed to write only in unruled paper you are not supposed to use ruled paper at all um secondly do not try to copy so try to be genuine so because uh, whatever you learn uh, it is for your next year or for your future so all this i would say very simple answers so try to be genuine because whoever watches you are not god is watching you and uh, whatever you uh, think that it is hidden it is known to god and uh, he gives a rewards based on your uh, um way of life okay so 
that to the student life or this young age is very very important god loves this age when you do mistakes he will be very angry on you and uh, he may forget or he may refuse to give uh, some of your gifts so try to be genuine and write this exam and the third important thing is that uh, your presentation your presentation is very 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 important your handwriting is very very important if at all if you have a worst handwriting or a poor presentation immediately take uh, start writing four lines notebook just one page a day slowly write slowly and try to improve your handwriting give enough space after each line and draw a line after each answer and uh, present superbly okay all the best god bless you